Hello. Kate, over here. Hi. Hi, congratulations. Thank you very much. Rebecca with Access Hollywood. So you are an Oscar winner. Now you're an Emmy winner. You're also a life saver. <laughs> Can you talk about how you saved Richard Branson's mother? Do you know what? I so knew I was going to get questions about the fire. <laughs> um, you know, I think um, I think we all said our piece about the fire when it happened, and we're all incredibly happy to be here and uh, very, very lucky to be alive. And I was in the right place at the right time to help Eve out of the house. You know, in truth, I will say she was already out of her bedroom. She had made it that far. And um, and I was just there to to speed things along because we had to get out quite quickly. But, uh, but thank God we're all okay. Great, you were there. Thanks. Yes, thank you. Okay, congratulations, Ted, for me. Thank you, um, hi. Uh, you've recently posed as Elizabeth Taylor. And I'd like to know if that's a project you would actually, because I actually think you have the, the right, you know, the chutzpah to play her in a movie. Is that a production you would be interested in pursuing if the movie were written for you? And also, what do you think of Guy Pierce's sexy remarks about you on stage? <laughs> um, gosh, that's such an interesting question about Elizabeth Taylor. Um, I would be honored to be mentioned in the same breath as her um, in any capacity. So. Yes, of course, and she uh, was an absolutely extraordinary human being. Um, and in regard to Guy's comments, I'm thrilled. <laughs> I've had a crush on Guy Pearce since I was 11 years old, so just to stand in the same room as him was really thrilling for me, and to hear him say all of that tonight was even even more of a thrill. Kate, um, when you give speeches, oftentimes you get really emotional, and sometimes people give you you know, whatever for that. Do you understand where they're coming from? Does that bother you at all? I was truly extremely unprepared, uh, and I didn't think that I was going to win at all. Um, and uh, uh, it, no, no, you know, I, I'm, I'm so, I'm so thrilled to have won this, and uh, you know, it just comes out the way it comes out. There's not a huge amount you can really do about it. Hi, Jeannie Wolf. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, you know, Mildred Pierce is such a gutsy character. She wasn't always wonderful, lovable, but really great woman. What did you learn from her? Oh my gosh, what? It's more a question of what. Um, I think, what didn't I learn? Um, I, I, I learned a great deal from Todd Haynes, uh, who is an extraordinary director and was a real partner for me in making Mildred Pierce. Um, and, you know, when you have an opportunity to play a woman of such magnitude and vulnerability, you know, you have to tread very carefully and hope that you're covering all your bases and um, and Todd was certainly very much there for me and holding my hand, so I'm really extremely grateful to him. Did you learn anything? Unfortunately, we only have time for one more question. Kate? Hello? Kate? Hi. Hello? Where? Over here, Heather. Right here. Oh, hi, Kate. Hi. 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 Sorry, hi. We love you in the United States, but I'm, I'm just wondering, did you have any idea when your career began? that you would have such a long and successful career as you've had now today? Oh my gosh, a absolutely none whatsoever. I mean, none. I, I, I come from a long line of actors who spend most of their lives largely out of work. And so I knew when I wanted to pursue this great dream that I had, that I probably wouldn't work very often and that I ought to figure out lots of part-time jobs along the way. And um, I've been extremely blessed that this has been my one and only job since I was a teenager, and uh, and and winning an award like this tonight is it's really so it's so wonderful. I can't even describe it. Unfortunately, we have to wrap it there. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you very much.